We need to grab ourselves a time machine, go back to the future. Um, we need to warn our younger selves uh, of what's going to happen in the future. We have learned so much over our lifetime with money and finance. We would like to give our younger selves a good shaking and tell them the hard truths. Gosh, that could be pretty scary, eh, Norm? Absolutely. But so. something that maybe, had we known then what we know now, hey? The, those immortal words, Tina. <laughs> and in actual fact, if you remember, Norm, when we were in our early 30s, that was kind of about the time that we came over to Canada. I think what I'd be telling myself, my younger self, my 30-year-old self, is... <sighs> All those cars that you're lusting after, and my younger self had a BMW and a Volvo and all those good things. We no longer own those cars. They're long gone. They're in the scrap heap. I'm sure they are, Norm, by now. <laughs> Yet think of all the money that was spent on those cars. Yeah. And then how about clothes, oh. all those little crocodile shirts? Oh, didn't we just love those, Norm? We had to be right there with the latest fashion, didn't we? We were rocking oh. the Don Johnson look. <laughs> and we looked great in them. And <laughs> we did. We did. And but we had all the different colours, didn't we? Oh, pink and <laughs> <Orange>. white. And, <laughs> oh, looking cool. Still had hair. I'd tell my younger self, make the most of the hair. It ain't going to last. So, basically... We don't have those clothes anymore either, do we, Tina? We don't. All, no. They all those all... designer labels. <laughs> You're right. In, in fact, if you, yeah, there's none of them left in the closet. They've all gone. We've replaced them with other stuff over the period of time, haven't we? And then we were doing those home improvements because we, <sighs> we had a cool lifestyle. We were entertaining a lot. Stainless steel appliances came along. Oh, and we just had to have those, oh, didn't we, Norm? You, we you had, bet. We had to have the washer and dryer, the fridge, the stove, and man, oh, did my. they look good, eh? Oh, they were sparkling <laughs> in our new designer <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> they were great. But do we have any of those now, Norm? No, they're probably in the scrap heap, too. <laughs> Been recycled, hopefully. But we have perfectly good white ones now that do yeah. the job of cooking. And well, do... we don't own them. The rental company does, so, which is even better. So if they break, we yeah. just call the superintendent. And they come and fix it. Yeah. So what we're really trying to say is that all those products that younger people are buying, that we bought, and, and that our children are buying, mm -hmm. and our grandchildren are starting to buy, are worthless. And they don't make you cooler. They don't, nobody cares what car you drive. Yeah. It's, it's all a fallacy. And the one thing that we would say to both of our younger selves is to have a greater appreciation of time. Mm. It, it hasn't, until we retired, it truly hit home how precious time is. Mm. When you're young, You've got lots of time. Got lots, you? Of, yeah. lots of days ahead of you, and, yeah. and you're working so hard that you're not aware of the time you're expending. So one of the big things that we feel our younger selves should have been doing is saving some money. So how would you save some money, team, as a younger teen? Well, I think a couple of things. First of all, I would definitely read The Wealthy Barber book because we learned so much from that book. We did. But the main thing I would do is I would st set up a standing order to have either five or 10% of mm -hmm. every pay just taken out of your bank account before you even spend it. When your salary goes in, have the money taken out, it's saving and you learn to live on what's left. And you soon forget. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, these payments going out because we we did that yeah. when we came to Canada. I was in my late thirties, yeah. Tina a couple of years younger, 
we read The Wealthy Barber and we did 10% of our take-home pay as a standing order. And we've said in the past, within three or four months, mm. you've forgotten about it because you just... You just spend what's in mm. your bank account, basically. And when it's done, it's done until the next paycheck. But if we'd, if we'd done something so simple to have contributed to something like an ETF, index fund, say the S&P 500 uh, ETF fund, and just continually contributed to that with our 5 or 10% of our take-home, we would be worth millions now. That would be really nice. And I was going to say, Norm, that out of all the things we've just talked about, the cars, the clothes, the appliances, all the things we don't have, the one thing that we've hung on to is the money. Yes. The, the money is the one thing out of all of it that we still have. So when you look or go back 30 years or look ahead 30 years, that's the one thing that can cement you and grow, and we've still got it. Yeah. Yeah. Haven't got the hair, though. That's gone. <laughs> Couldn't really do anything about that one, Norm. <laughs> the, the, the hair went with the crocodile T-shirt or the golf shirts. But I think, too, that was part of the vision that that was one of the things that was going to help fund our retirement, wasn't it? And, and it has. Yeah, it and, has. And yeah. both Tina and I started... Uh, savings in mm -hmm. RRSPs uh, when we first came to Canada. We put our 10% yeah. money, both of us, mm -hmm. and we both have a retirement fund. We just have been able to live without drawing on it. So we will probably be converting that into a RIF, a registered income fund, uh, when we have to, when yeah. the government tells us we have to in our 70s. But that's all that we've got mm -hmm. from our 30 year old selves is we have retirement funds yeah. that we made the effort we have beautiful children and grandchildren but all the stuff has gone has gone and <laughs> and the little niggling stuff is still here and yeah. we're trying to downsize the hell out of it yeah and that is really an ongoing process isn't it no we are struggling on that one <laughs> and we've been fortunate that we, we've always had a, a, a good outlook on life. But I'd be telling yeah. my 30-year-old self, be yeah. sure to have fun along the way. Yes. Life's not worth living without fun. and. Uh, yeah, you need to have the experiences, I think. Yeah, the and Tina's had yeah. the most fun being married to me. Oh. <laughs> Laugh a minute, eh, Tina? Oh. <laughs> it absolutely is norm hey kind of sometimes the life's a bit like a roller coaster isn't it <laughs> so that's what we would do we yes, would we would we take would. the tardis or yeah. the time machine yeah. we would go back and we would say to ourselves that's forget the products yeah. save your money yeah and yes yeah. so we hope that everybody is staying safe and keeping well and until the next time bye-bye bye-bye